Used oil furnaces generate heat by burning used oil without having to refine it. These furnaces are found in automobile shops, maintenance facilities, and construction sites. Transport fleets and trucking companies also use them to turn the used oil they produce into heat for their facilities. It takes a special furnace to burn used oil. Used oil is thick and dirty compared to residential fuel oil and must be turned into a fine mist to burn properly. It all starts with a computer-controlled laser making what's called the front and rear flue plates out of steel. The plates for this hot air furnace are made of stainless or hot rolled steel depending on the size of the unit. A worker then makes what's known as the heat exchanger by joining the flue plates together with steel tubes called flue tubes. This device is called a Swager machine. It expands just the ends of the flue tubes, bonding them in place with the flue plate. Next, he assembles the section in which hot gases collect after passing through the flue tubes on their way out of the furnace. He then sets a combustion chamber on the top of the heat exchanger and welds them together. He completes the heat exchanger assembly by welding on a base equipped with two air deflector plates. These square plates help direct the ambient air as it enters the furnace and circulates around the combustion chamber. Meanwhile, an electrostatic powder coating machine paints the outside covers of the furnace. Next, they put on inner air deflectors, then assemble the cabinet. They bolt everything in place, then put on an insulated door. Now he hooks up a blower control box. This electrical box regulates when hot air is sent into a room. A worker then connects a tester box to the temperature controls that measure the temperature inside the furnace. He runs a number of tests to confirm that both the blower and the burner will turn on or off when they're supposed to. He verifies the operation of the door that allows for cleaning out ash residue. A technician installs a 100 watt pencil heater inside a brass nozzle adapter, then threads a thermostat into it. This nozzle adapter heats the oil and turns it into a fine mist so it burns properly. She then attaches assembly fittings to the adapter so she can later mount it inside a burner housing. She checks these fittings with a leveling tool to ensure the adapter will go on straight inside the housing. She also installs an assembly that controls oil flow, temperature and air pressure. Then she mounts the nozzle adapter and covers it with a retention head that shapes the flame for optimal heat, completing the burner assembly. A worker then hooks up the used oil and compressed air lines to begin testing the burner. He turns on the oil, ignites the burner, and looks through an observation port to verify the burner is working properly. A closer look shows the flame is at the right intensity for optimal heat with minimal emissions.
The furnace is now ready to turn used oil into useful heat.